Hands up, everybody. It's rig wrapping time. What I mean by wrapping? I mean heat shrink wraps from mudhole.com. Um, it's by no means a, a sponsor of mine. I just uh, use your products. They all work pretty good. So uh, just going to show you guys how easy it is to wrap your own rods if you want to. Well, the reason why is cork. See, a lot of times I'll leave the plastic on there and then the plastic starts getting tore up and stuff. Well, then, then you take the plastic off and then from the catfish slime and scales and everything else, your cork starts discoloring, turning dark because all the dirt. Well, this wrap, it's like a rubber and a lot of things you use is a torch or a heat gun. I use a torch. And it works pretty good for me. So um, as you heat this shrink wrap up, it forms to your rod. So works pretty good for me. So I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to do it yourself. So first off, um, they do come in long pieces. In each piece, you can do about two rods. I think that's 40 inches, I believe. So, what you do is you take this piece right here and line it up. You don't really need too much over as far as a measurement goes. Just line it up on the end of the cork there, end of the cork here. And I just use a pair of scissors. I go over just about an eighth inch. Make my cut. Then I just make a straight line cut. Voila. Now that. With no reel in there. Can't have a reel in there if you want to slide this through there. So. And put that over your rod there all the way down to the end you kind of line things up and start torching I suggest if you like fires a lot uh, probably don't want to deal with the torch because We'll end up setting other stuff on fire. So I'd, I'd suggest using a heat gun if you're a pyro. So, uh, torch. Let's go. Get it pretty hot. You can start melting this plastic or the rubber, so you gotta watch yourself on that. But other than that, once you get it shrunk down, it fits the form of your rod to where you can cover the cork. Does pretty good. So to do the back side, of course again you line up your rubber hold it down all the way to the end cut it on the end take your rod off make your cut easy as one two three there's your piece to fit on the back side A lot of people would take the plastic off this rod, but you know what? I'm not a lot alike. If it, a lot alike, I'm not like a lot of people. La 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 la. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on there. So I would suggest you clean your rods before you uh, 
you do this if you do have a lot of scales and dirt and stuff on it. So there's the back side. Here we go. So, all said and done, finished product. I think I may have got this one just to cut a little bit too short, but that's all right. Finished product, got a little blingy blingy on your rod. So, um, these are the 40 millimeter, I believe inch and a half. So you'll see the thickness or the 40 millimeter. Of the, of the rubber, the, the wrap. Um, I believe it's inch and a half. You'll find on uh, mudhole.com. Uh, just click in the search link and it'll be uh, what I did is the uh, uh, plastic wrap. Just pull that up and you'll either have uh, some bare ones like these or you can get the other ones like these and these both of them come in different colors so you can choose different colors for whatever rods you have so uh hope that helps you guys out rock on make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like the video like share subscribe do all that fun funky stuff if not yeah, whatever i'm good either way so have a ball go fishing